what's up everybody 915 mang here we're gonna do a nice little update here it's gonna be an update of all the nutrient export that I got going on for the 180 got a protein skimmer I got a Santa Monica surf algae turf scrubber and I'm gonna do an update on the reactor the Chato reactor that I uh, made and we're gonna see how everything uh, came out I was a little worried when I did this experiment Protein skimmer taking out everything, uh, turf scrubber taking out everything, and then putting a uh, Chato reactor online. Uh, you know, I was thinking either or was going to kind of drown themselves out. But as you can see right here, taking a look at this Chato reactor, this is a 20 inch reactor Excel. And uh, this Chato has grown upwards. It took a little bit to take off, but as soon as it started taking off, it it started growing. It's reaching the top and the bottom and I used the entire strand of LED lights on this reactor. Now check this out. Another thing that I'm doing to my tank to the 180 to help out is I'm turbocharging the beneficial bacteria and I'm doing that by dosing vinegar. Regular household Walmart uh, great value vinegar into the tank. It's uh, a food. It's a carbon source for all that bacteria. They go hungry. They eat it up and uh, they help clean out my tank. Now, uh, the thing that I haven't been doing is testing my nitrates or anything like that. I am probably going to go ahead and jump on uh, Marine Depot because they have a 15% off sale going on. And I'm just going to get like maybe a cheap API test kit because I saw it for like 20 bucks. So by the time you see this, I probably already bought it. The last video I did, I did a live stream of the 180 and I was talking about all the things um, I had a lot of pieces that I paid up for sale. Uh, I had some local reefers take advantage of things. And this huge bird's nest and a big thing of a uh, purple stylo and a little frag pack. I was able to uh, help a fellow reefer out for a good price for everything. These are big colonies that I got rid of and uh, made a little bit of room in the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where the tank is now. Kind of organized, cleaned up a little bit. Didn't really have a whole lot of time to mess around with stuff, but uh, this weekend for sure, three-day weekend, I'll be taking care of uh, some more housekeeping in the 180. So let's get into the update and uh, show you what's been going on. I hope you guys got some popcorn. Go ahead and pause this video if you don't. Get yourself with something to drink, and uh, let's kick back and uh, enjoy the video update. Some of the things that I want to do and change around I have that big rock towards the back, which is a Tonga branch. It's like a shape as a the letter J. It was all full of the GSP, but I'm going to move it around and change it up. What I did do on this side is pit blastos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pit blastos over here. And I'm starting to like the way that this rock came out. I do want to finish up an archway, which I'll show you here in a little bit in a minute. But uh, before I had the center full but now have it more open and I like the look because I have you know the corners at the end of the tank um as the mounds and things like that and then on the center is more of an open space also I like the way that these sticks came out I mounted them with the reef welder I super glued them onto the plastic overflows and you know what everything's stuck this is a little closer look of the bubblegum digi that I have right here um and I'm gonna show you Two different sizes of the tank you're going to get it all right now today um, i'm going to do a little with the daylight on right here as you can see and then at the end of the video we're going to turn on straight blues and you're going to see the color of everything and the way that it really looks i also got some cleaning up of the tank to do some uh housekeeping and things like that i have frags all over the place and uh, i'm going to pick some of those frags up move them out the way so that way it won't be such a mess I have a lot of uh, green Montipora. Had uh, several people interested in that, but uh, you know what? I'm okay with keeping it all and just keeping it and growing it on my tank. It's good with me, you know. Uh, as you can see, big chunks of green um, Montipora have the blastos in the back. Have these pink pallies right here grow really well, and uh, some more chunks right there. And I have this big colony of green Montipora that I'm going to go ahead and use and uh, pit it somewhere where it's out of the way. The thing about these monopores, they grow up pretty fast in my tank, and uh, 
I I just want anything below it um, to not get overshadowed by it because you they grow so big. If you check out my buddy Will Santiago, he has uh, monopores, but he was smart and he put them low so that way um, they didn't overshadow everything. But uh, check out his tank and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you put them too high, they're going to shadow everything below and uh, everything below is not going to be getting enough light. That's what I'm talking about. But as we go and do this video right here, I want to know if you guys are taking any advantage of any sales. I know there's a lot of sales going on out there right now. And uh, let me know if you're going to buy something. But let's go ahead and get into this. I've been promising you guys a contest. And um, we're going to do a contest. It has to be, uh, number one, you have to be a subscriber. Number two, you have to do a video. Um, it could be at least two minutes. And or plus of a full tank shot of your tank and I also want to see a side view which is my favorite um, view of a tank the side view left right left side right side and uh, the winner will will go ahead and announce that at the end of the month end of this month you have to make a fresh video you can't make a, some old video and then just call it 915 mag contest entry um, so you have to do that and then uh, put the link in this video right here below and we'll go ahead and go by that Like I said the contest will run to the end of February and uh, Last one standing as I pulled draw names out from the hat uh, will win 50 bucks uh, gift certificate It's gonna be open to everybody in the United States if you're a UK reefer you're a Dutchland reefer you're from around the world, just let me know. As long as you uh, have PayPal, you guys can still play. So with that little administrative note, let's go ahead and get back into the update here. You can see I have some nice pink hippos right there. But that uh, pally floating in the back was completely taking over my rock. And uh, I got rid of a lot of those. I also have these candy canes that I broke up. I'm going to probably make something cool out of these candy canes. Uh, they are fat. They're enjoying the flow on the bottom. As you can see, they have their extensions out. And um, I haven't been target feeding the tank that much. I do want to show you some of these Zoas. They look pretty awesome. Uh, those blue and green ones with the green centers, I got those from the coral reef. Had a few heads on them. And as you can see now, they've totally taken over that uh, little frag disc right there. Um, I have things all over the place. I am going to organize them and kind of put them together. So that way uh, it'll be a little bit nicer, more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So if you're curious and this is the first time you've checked out the channel, the lights that I am using are uh, Reef Breeders LEDs. They're the Photon version 2s. Uh, Reef Breeders did have a series of the uh, old school Chinese black box LEDs. Um, but these ones are a little bit slimmer. They've been working great. Uh, no issues at all. There's a video that I did with all the settings and uh, I max out at 60% and then I wrap my way back down. I do have uh, two bulbs of T5 on here. The two bulbs that I had covered my 120 just fine. And on this one, the bulbs cover mainly the SPS because it doesn't cover the full length of the tank. Um, some of those Aquatic Life retro kit uh, where you can put your own LEDs in them. Would be pretty sweet I haven't really seen a 72 inch version of that uh, if they did do that then I'd probably jump on that so that way I could have t5 coverage all over my tank my anemone is doing good clownfish doing good this is some of the mystic monopora that I had uh, break off I broke it off so that I can make some room for the corals those were my agave polys and I got a couple of pieces of that mystic going on I'm probably just going to remount it right there. And then same thing with this GSP. I'm going to keep it under control because I don't want GSP all over my tank. Um, it does have a nasty, nasty sting. Um, I do want to show you one of my corals that kind of took a hit. Is right there on the top left. It a, was a rainbow type of uh, acro that I got from Reefer's Garage. And uh, when I was messing around with the rock, it didn't seem to like that. Got a little stressed and it seems like it died. You can see I mounted most of my um, SPS on that overflow. 
it's going to look pretty sweet once it grows out. And I also put that pink bird's nest on the top rock. This little frag rack I put together because it had too many pieces all over the place. And I'm just going to keep it in the tank. Grow this stuff out. It's a mixture of uh, green and purple. Hammer, some digis. have a bunch of little stylos. I stole that, sold that big colony of stylo to a uh, local reefer. He took advantage of the sale and you know what? I didn't break him off. Sold it to him for a good price. Um, so I'm pretty sure he was happy about that. This branching frog spawn is looking really good. Um, as you can see that white stuff at the other end is that reef welder. It works great, man. I'm going to end up buying some more and my acans. I'm going to reposition these acans somewhere so that way they can grow into the rock. I'm going to be showing you the uh, blue LEDs on the reef tank here shortly. But before that, check these out. These little daisy corals are growing on the sand bed. They do look cool. Um, I like them there, but I don't like them next to my SPS and things like that. Um, because they overpower everything. I got some scrambled eggs that I need to take care of because these daisy polyps are all over the place. Uh, but um, these two acans right there, uh, t my buddy Tim gave them to me for free. And uh, I guess they were dying in his tank. My anemone right here, don't know, really know what it was doing. It was looking better earlier, but I do want to show you this Hollywood Stunner chalice. It's huge. It's more like a monopora the way that it's growing. Um, it might not look too big on the video, but it is uh, bigger than your hand, and it's starting to uh, plate plate itself. Also moved some purple monopora. I glued it on the overflow. It seems to be doing good. You can see some of these other pieces I put on the overflow, and I can't wait for them to grow out. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of those pieces right there, and we're going to go ahead and switch into all blue LED so you can see the different colors and uh, the way everything looks. It's going to be pretty sweet. So now that we got the blues on, let's go ahead and take a closer look. I know the first thing you're going to say is that I need some more corals. I need some more zoas. I know that I'm trying to tell the wife about that and convince her that I need more. I need more different colors, more different corals, more different sticks. I have. That's why I got a 180 so I can get this tank stacked. Um, when I first started out, maybe a couple of months ago, I had several different ones, brand new ones, but they only had one or two heads. But now they're starting to fill out the tank. They're starting to spread out, grow more heads, and uh, become more noticeable. You can see this Miami hurricane that I have in the back. It's full, full of different heads. It's floating. They're touching. They're not killing each other. And uh, it's doing really good. I got those other two chalices from my buddy Javier. Um, these right here are Fruit Loops. They're starting to get their colors back because um, they they were a little bit further away from the LEDs. I brought them back in. I'm going to go ahead and move those out. Um, lots of Rastas growing right here. Lots and lots of Rastas. I have several Rastas around in the tank. and uh, But I think these are going to look pretty cool once they fill out this branching uh, Tonga. I did put this branching Tonga together with uh, another tip that I had around in the tank and I used that reef welder. I don't know if you guys have used it or not, but uh, stuff is pretty awesome. I even reused some of this stuff. These daisies, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to start uh, striking them, making sure that I get rid of them. I'm not trying to keep them. I'm going to control them, you know, but I'm not, I don't want them on my uh, scrambled egg zoas right there. You can see that I made a little frag rack. This is more some of that branching, but check out some of these SPS, some of these I got from uh, Battle Coral, like that one on the bottom right hand corner. You can see the color on it. It's pretty awesome. Um, I hope it colors up once I start stop moving around so much. And in behind, background behind that, uh, I have some Mystic. I put a little bit of that on the overflow. And uh, I'm going to grow that whole thing out. I do have some GSP growing on the overflow, but... I'm going to go ahead and, if I have to, peel back that GSP so that way that whole thing can be nothing but Mystic and SPS. Take a closer look right here. You can see my Utter Chaos Zoas growing up the glass. Not the ass, but up the glass. And you can see everything's doing really good. All the different varieties of Zoas right here. It's going to space them out. Maybe... 
I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm not going to frag it or anything like that. They'll probably be fine. But I do have some frags of this in my frag tank. So I'm good. And uh, I just have a lot more room, different spaces. Right here, check out this golden mall. I got this from the coral reef. It's actually three heads. I don't, I don't know why it's only one showing. But the color on this in person is pretty sweet. I'm going to zoom in on these little zoos right here. They have like a pink ring to them, like a halo. And they're awesome. Multiple, multiple heads. Probably ready to frag. But you know what? I'm just going to move it off to the side and just let things grow. These orange Bam Bams right here. I have the Bam Bams. And I got these from my buddy Javier when he broke down his uh, bow front. They were pretty awesome. He let me have them. And you can see right there, they're doing really good. Now, I'm not doing anything special to my tank. Um, I ran out of acro power. Um, I'm going to order some more. Look into that because of the sales going on. and uh, But I'm not really doing anything to my tank too much. And what I mean by that is I'm not target feeding. I probably should target feed, you know. But uh, I'm not target feeding. If I did, these zoos would probably take off even faster. The only zoo that I've kind of had a hard time with is my Clementine zoos. But everything else is looking good. These uh, Captain Americas. You can see right there, I love them. They're simple, you know, but they're pretty awesome. They glow. Uh, I got lots and lots of uh, different pallies and zoas growing out in this tank. I don't know if you guys are crazy about zoas like me. I know one guy is, DC Reefer. Probably has more different zoas from me than I do because he goes to all the shows. Um, I don't. I just order them online. Uh, but everything looks different once those blue lights kick on, and that's what I like. I Right now, the lights are at 80% blue, zero white, and uh, also have uh, the royal blues on. And I think the royal blues make everything pop even more. Like this rainbow enchinada uh, looks pretty awesome in person. You can see that it's growing onto the rock. Um, this rock right here was covered with... Uh, Zoas and um, I had a uh, pink uh, Ghani on there, but they died out because the uh, Zoas, the Pallies, covered them up and killed them, and I just never cleaned them out. You can see these branching Montepore right here is also doing really good. Um, it took a hit when my alkalinity, alkalinity took a swing, a big swing, and I did nothing about it. But as you can see, it's growing like nothing happened. Purple Stylo, that little green Monty right there just about died but uh as you can see it's back screen bird's nest all the polyps right there are extended really really tight polyps everything's looking really good let's go ahead and take another look on the other side of the tank right here you can see the uh, green slimer is growing in different patterns this piece is going to look pretty sweet uh the bubble gum digi it's doing good you can see the blue in it um Instead of it being green like forest fire, it's blue. It did have a little bit of green in some of the other ones that I've seen, but it's mostly blue. Um, and I hope it's going to fill up this whole overflow right there, the Lobos. This torch is still alive. I broke it on accident. The Johnny Pumpkin Seed Zoas right there, they're orange, growing good. Um, I have a lot of these things in my tank. And, uh, you know, I'm going to clean up this side and go from there. Let's go ahead and do a side view. Remember, I want to see a left side view, a right side view, because it's one of my favorite views. You can see all the different colors, all the varieties of Zoas and Pallies that I have. Um, I do want to get some more. And uh, that frog spawn, awesome right there. Very dangerous for the other corals because it has a mean sting to it, but it's going to get this tank going and jam-packed right here. Reef readers right there on the top. Let me go ahead and walk backwards, give you a full tank shot of the 180. I do like the 180, you know. I haven't done a water change on it since the last couple of videos that I did. So about two weeks. But uh, I am going to go ahead and give you some more updates. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and um, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching, and uh, you have a good one. Take advantage of those sales, and let me know what you guys bought. Don't forget, the end of February.